Hello everyone and welcome to Microsoft Access 2016 Basics. My name is Steve Bishop and in this video we're going to be talking about deleting records with a delete query. Quite often with our data we need to remove records that exist inside of a table. Here we have Joe which is ID number 5 and he has a salary of 103,000. But let's say that we want to remove Joe from this table. Well, that's where we would need a delete query. Now, a couple things to note. If you only wanted to delete the salary of Joe, you would need to do an update query because an update query is designed to replace specific fields with new values. A delete query will once again remove an entire record from the table. And in some cases, if you have referential integrity turned on, you might end up deleting more than one record from another table. That's where we have the delete cascading effect that we saw when we were talking about the relationships between tables. So let's have a look at it in our Access database. So here is our customers table that we created at the end of the last video. And now we have Shane, Denise, and Joyce. But let's say that we wanted to delete Shane here from the list of customers. How would we do that? So we could go up to create and then design query. And from here, we would want to go ahead and select from our customers table. So we'll select the customers table and add. We can go ahead and close that. Now I need to change this query from a select query to a delete query. So from the design tab, I'm going to make sure I select delete. Now, at this point, it doesn't really matter which field I select. I can select customers, star, ID, first name, or last name. This really doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select customers.asterisk because this basically will help reinforce the idea that everything from that customer's table for this record will be removed. If I was to select ID or first name or last name, you'll notice that the delete where is going to appear. But if I select the customer's asterisk, you'll see that it changes delete from. So there's going to be a little bit of a difference there depending upon which field you select. And that's again because even if I select ID or first name or last name, I'm only going to be allowed to delete the entire record, not a single field from that record. So let's go ahead and change this field to customers.asterisk. And then I do want to give some sort of criteria in order to make sure I am selecting the correct customer from my customer's table. Because if I just ran this query now, it would delete everything. It would delete all of the records from my customer's table because I don't have any sort of filtering criteria. So let's go ahead and add on our field list, we're going to use the ID as our filter. We're going to say, I want to select the customer with an ID of two and delete them from the customer's table. So I select the ID as the field, and we're saying the where clause is going to be used here. And the criteria is where it equals two. Now, just so you guys can see what the SQL itself will look like uh, inside of the uh, SQL query, I'm going to right click and say SQL view. And you'll notice that we are going to use this new delete and customers asterisk. And we also see customers.id. That's just to help us identify what we're selecting upon. But I could actually go ahead and remove that if I really wanted to. And then we could say customers is the table that we're deleting from. And then where is our filtering clause, right? This is where we're saying which customer specifically do we want to remove? Once again, this was automatically generated by the query designer when we were in the design view for this delete query. To make sure this runs, let's go ahead and just go back up to the design tab and we'll click on run. And it will prompt us with a little warning here that says, hey, you're about to delete one row from the specified table. Once you click yes, you can't undo the command to reverse the changes. Are you sure you want to delete the selected records? And I'll tell you that uh, in general, you don't want to be deleting records from tables at all. There's a little bit of a different technique that you probably should employ, which is to have some sort of active or inactive field on your table that you can use as a Boolean value to say whether or not that particular record is still active or inactive. 
That way you don't delete or erase any relevant data that your company might need later on. But I do want to just show you as a completeness of understanding SQL that you can do this delete query. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I do want to go ahead and delete that record from my customers table. And we'll see if I open my customers table again, since I already had it opened, you'll see that record now has the hashtag deleted. If I just go ahead and close this and reopen my customers table, you'll see that ID2 is now gone. Now, I was mentioning earlier that there might be some referential integrity and we might have some cascading deleting going on. So let me just kind of talk about that here. Uh, there's going to be in the database tools, a relationship mapper here. And remember how with our people and our people underscore phone numbers tables, there was this referential integrity between the one to many relationship of the people and that people phone numbers. And I could just go ahead and right click on this and edit the relationship and you'll see cascade delete related records is selected. Now what that means is if I go ahead and delete a person from the people table, any data related to that person in those other tables will also be removed. So just to show you how this works, I'm gonna close out my customers table and I'll close out the query number four. Let's go ahead and save that, sure. I have my people table here, and I also have my people phone numbers table, and you'll see that this is where we were linking up. We were using a join table to say, uh, join a particular phone number with a person. And we have person ID five here, which turns out to be John Smith. Now, what do you suppose will happen if I remove John Smith from the system? what will happen to the records in people phone numbers? Well, let's go ahead and create a new query. So I'm gonna go up to the Create tab and I'm gonna say, uh, I wanna create a query design here. And I'm going to select just the people table. And then what I wanna do is once again, I'm going to add for the field, I'm going to use the asterisk. So that way I know that I'm deleting uh, the entire record. And then for the field that I'm going to filter on, I'm going to select ID and the ID of John Smith is five. So I'm going to use that to delete with, and I'm going to say, oh, and we need to change this over to a delete query. So let's delete. There we go. So we're deleting from ask from the people table asterisk all, you know, all of the valid fields of the people table. And we're going to filter where ID is equal to five. And again, this where query uh, can be anything that we would typically use in a where, a where statement of our query, right? So we could use, uh, you know, less than five or greater than or equal to five or all those different types of criteria that we could use in a where statement. Uh, but in this case, I'm just gonna use the exact equals to five. That way we're just deleting this one specific person of John Smith. Okay, so now that I've got John Smith selected from my people table and I wanna go ahead and delete, let's go ahead and click on the design uh, and design tab and let's run this query. Now it says you're about to delete the one row from the specified table, we already know about that. And I click on yes and that goes ahead and gets rid of it. Now what happens to the people phone numbers? Notice that the people phone numbers table, even though my query here was only targeting the people table, it was, it went ahead and removed all of the related records in other tables. And once again, that's because in my relationships I had set up here between my people table and my people phone numbers table, I was saying, yes, go ahead and cascade delete any related records. So if you delete one of my people, also delete the people underscore phone numbers record that is associated with that person. So you do need to be very careful, especially if you are deleting records. If you delete them, you might end up affecting some other data somewhere else. And that's why typically what you actually want to do is to add this something like this, an active uh, checkbox, right? A yes or no field, a Boolean field to specify whether or not that person is still active. That way we don't actually delete any records like we've done here. Those records will remain, but you can simply filter your queries according to that active field. 
and that's going to keep the data in your database for for as long as you need it uh, but still give you the results that you might be looking for to see who is and who is not an active uh, person inside of your database i'd like to thank the following members for their continued support on this channel without your contributions this channel would not be possible thank you